Special Agent Savannah Solomon with the FBI detailing on Monday her interactions with Simon during the course of the investigation, talking specifically about the moments she says didn't sit right with her. She showed me her um, Hawaiian symbol tattoo about the waves going up and down and said that she wanted to get a tattoo in honor of Quentin. That conversation taking place the day Simon first reported her son missing. Was anybody yet talking about Quentin being dead? We suspected it within the investigative team, but it had not been discussed outside of the investigative team. It wasn't until a week later that agents informed Simon they believed Quentin to be dead and that they were confident they would find his body at the waste management landfill. She said he wasn't in the bag, um, but it was... Um, hard to characterize. It wasn't shock which is the most surprising thing of it. After that landfill search commenced, I conducted an exclusive interview with Simon, parts of which were shown in court on Monday. I am not running and I'm not hiding. And if something does come up that I am at fault, I will take myself to that police station. Solomon testified that right after a part of the interview had aired, Simon texted her and started casting blame on her then boyfriend, Daniel Youngkin. I'm not lying for Danny anymore. The reason why my story about Origel and didn't make sense was because Danny told me to say that. I'm innocent of this. He was the last one to see Quentin. Court is set to resume at 930 on Tuesday morning. WTOC will continue to be in the courtroom bringing you the very latest updates on air and online. So stick with us for the latest updates. Reporting in Chatham County, Shay Schrader, WTOC News.